Hello everyone, I'm finally able to present another update of Starship Corporation. It has been a while because it became necessary to make some changes within the company and some significant changes within the game. I had to take control over the coding and backfixing of several game elements and now this will be a much smoother operation. You maybe have been wondering why the most anticipated element, the galaxy map, has been incomplete for such a long time or why the market stayed the same even though you guys clearly said that it's not fun to play. Well, now it's finally done. I created a whole new Galaxy map that's turn based. I completely scrapped the market interface and integrated it into hopefully a much more exciting manner into the Galaxy map. I also needed to completely redo this, the research interface, some of the lists that are used in ship design and crew management, the sandbox creation menu, the build menu, and the saving and loading uh, of games and ships. Now that this is finally done, we can all focus on the most exciting part of the game, the element that ties everything together. Let's take a look at how it plays. You can see in the galaxy map now all the systems that are currently known, with the solar system marked in yellow because that's where your first shipyard is. Uh, a click on each system gives you more information and the current tax rate, which changes over time. If you own a shipyard, you have access to the local market, but you can also now build ships for your own company. Here is a list of the current contracts in the solar system that are available. I'm going to build this now. Because it's a small ship, it's going to just take one quarter to build, like one turn is one quarter. Um, you can end the current quarter anytime by clicking on the button on the top here. The new ship has been delivered now and we received the payment of 10,000 millibitcoin. Now let's build our first own ship. I'm going to build a probe here to be able to show an important function with a ship that is equipped with sensors. And over here I'm going to build another probe as well. Ending the turn. Now with my own ship being completed I can enter a ship name and I also can enter a description if I want to. And for the other one as well. You can move ships simply by right clicking within the map and holding the mouse button to set different types of waypoints. In this case, the ship has sensors, so I can use the research functionality. If the ship is using a special ability while in flight, it only travels at 6% of its maximum speed. As you can see, there is an asteroid field on a route to Delos, shown in orange. Ships, of course, also cost a lot of money just to remain operational, which you can see in the overview. Let's send them out some more. Now one of the probe is about to enter an asteroid field and you can decide if you want to risk that maneuver or not. It kind of depends on how good your asteroid mission uh, in crew management training was. Now I'm going to show you something else that's important. This probe is going to change course uh, to scan the air area down here. Just need to end this quarter again. What this ship just discovered is a zone that is very profitable to mine shown in yellow. The, we can send this guy back on its way to Delos. Now that we know that there is a possibility for mining so close to the solar system, let's quickly build a mining vessel to harvest these resources and make some money. But there is necessary advanced technology that is not researched yet. Let's change the module. The different categories are on top as usual, but the subcategories and different items are listed like this now for more overview. If you don't want to wait and need a specific technology right now, just like we do now, or for a, a ship you're designing at the moment, you have the option to buy that technology right away, but it is at a higher cost. If you are planning ahead uh, or you want to save costs, you can set a quarterly research budget for a specific subcategory to slowly unlock technology over time. For example, let's set a budget for the thrusters. Around 2000 millibitcoin is the most efficient value. Setting higher value will give you a little bit more progress, but not significantly. And of course, you can also set a lower value. The color helps you to find the sweet spot. 
and we spend a lot for research this turn. Then uh, when we look back into research interface, you can see that there is progress in the entire category. We gain some more knowledge for every room in this category, which takes longer for the technology to unlock, but it's definitely more efficient. And to make this a mining ship, you also need an ore mill and a gravity generator. Let's buy all of that real quick, even though this is very expensive. Now, back in the galaxy map, we can select a mining vessel, shown in green now, and build it. As this is a little bit bigger ship, this will take two quarters to complete it and operational this time. Done. Let's enter the ship name. I hope you guys are more creative with your ship names than me. And with the mining vessel selected, you can see now that this ship has the special ability to mine resources. Just set it on the zone and we can send it on its way. And I really hope for it that nothing happens to this expensive mining vessel on the way through deep space. Almost there. One more turn. Okay, now it has entered the zone and you can see in the report that we earned a significant amount of Bitcoin, finally ending the endless spending of the last years. This circle gets smaller and smaller and then all of it is used up. Okay, now I want to show you how to get rid of asteroids uh, that are a danger to space travel. If a ship is equipped with a mining laser, it can be used uh, to remove asteroid fields, especially from known routes. There are also contracts that specifically mark a zone that needs to be pacified. If you have a ship with the necessary equipment, you can simply select it and then assign it to that job. The zone is then linked to that ship and you can send it out to do the work. Uh, I'm going to speed up this a little bit. Now the ship entered the zone and encountered an enemy. You always have the choice to engage or retreat in that case. Success in combat, of course, is determined by the AGP rating and successful retreat depends on how good your engines are and how good your maneuverability is. As you progress through the galaxy and expand your business, you will find out that the number and types of contracts available change over the course of history. Depending on the system's development level, you also can only build shipyards and systems that have an established trade route to an already established system. I hope you got a first impression of what Starship Corporation looks like now. Of course, this is still in development, but with your feedback and a little more time, this will soon be completed. Thanks for watching and thanks to everyone for the extensive bug reports in the forum.